Hello everyone to our first tutorial on YouTube from Visual Accuracy. My name is Claudio Rafael and here we're going to be doing a Pokeball. Um, if you have never seen a tutorial of mine, since this is the new one on YouTube, I used to do video tutorials on Vimeo about uh, Cinema 4D. Uh, they were kind of popular at the time and that was like around seven years ago, eight years. Um, I was really shy and I didn't have like a good uh, microphone at that time either. But uh, the community was really nice and cool and then I had other things to do. Hopefully here we can upload more videos and build a community, a stronger community um, that we can share ideas and learn together. Okay. Cool, here we're gonna do a Pokeball real quick. We're gonna start with the default cube that we have right here. Instead of uh, a sphere, I found this to be more convenient. So yeah, click on the cube, do a, add a modifier, subdivision surface, make it four, apply. Go into front view by clicking uh, one in the notepad, number pad. All right, then we're gonna zoom in, tap to go into edit mode. Make sure you are in um, vertex selection. All right, and your box tool is selected or whichever one you want. Press control plus on the number pad three times. All right, then we're gonna press control again and drag click the center ones, all right? We're gonna click Shift Alt S and we're gonna drag all the way to the right to make it a perfect circle. Now, you probably can't see, it's hard to notice, but the actual uh, box um, or sphere is still kind of like in a box shape. So we're gonna tap A and select everything and then we're gonna go to Shift Alt uh, S to use the cylinder tool. The cylinder tool, you could find it, um, I believe is, yeah, right here. And you could also find it in the mesh transform to sphere, all right? Once we did that, what happened is that um, our perfect circle got me shipping again. It's, a little bit hard to notice, but later on, once we do the other modifications, you'll start to notice uh, that it's not a perfect sh uh, circle anymore. So we're going to fix that um, right now again. All right. So select um, one of the vertices on the edges and then press control and then click along the edges to select this is the fastest one of the fastest ways to do it if you know a faster way let me know all right then do again uh shift alt s right to make it a perfect circle select everything which is you know getting everything tight all right cool excellent now we're gonna gonna fix these edges right here um, one of the best ways that I found is either you can go one by one, um, by doing this right here. Let me just show you. So S scale and scale on the X axis, press zero. And it's going to straighten it. We need to do that one, two, three, four and five, six. Yeah. So plenty of times. So we're gonna do here is when I click on the X-ray and we're gonna click and drag right here, almost half, not the center points though. Okay, we wanna press X, delete vertices. I'm gonna delete these vertices as well. All right, then we're gonna click uh, or tap on the tap on the tab button or press on the tap button 
and then we're gonna go into mirror into the mirror mod modifier and we're gonna do the X and Z all right we're gonna go into edit mode again and we're just gonna select this edge right here let's turn off x-ray because we don't need it anymore and then let's do scale x zero enter alt click s c zero plus i mean enter all right excellent right that's awesome then we're gonna exit out of that click apply go back into it select our, our circle again make sure it's a perfect circle awesome gonna go into faces and select shift file select okay then we're gonna shift click excellent you can already tell like the shape of the pocket hole right here we're gonna do an uh, inset faces Gonna insert it just a little bit. Then we're gonna do uh, an extrusion, and we're gonna do the Alon normals. All right, we're gonna change this angle. We're gonna try to get it close to the same size as the inset. All right. If this is moving backwards, make sure that you have the medium point or the individual origins. Uh, another uh, 3D cursor origin of reference. All right, I'm gonna continue the extrusion. I think uh, about here, it's a good size. I'm gonna do it again, just a tiny bit. Another inset. That's good. Excellent. We're gonna go into tab. We're gonna add a material. You could do this later on, but I'm just gonna do it now because I have a I have it selected. So we're gonna add a material to everything. So it's gonna be white. All right, and then we're going to go back into edit. We're gonna do control plus, and then we're gonna do a new material. And we're gonna do this, like a dark gray or black, you could go. I like to do a uh, dark gray. And um, we're gonna go over here and um, I found out that if we flatten the edges right here and the front side of it later on it's just I think it looks better so we're gonna do that right now if you like it this way you can leave it this way it's up to you so we're gonna go into the select tool vertices and then we're gonna go our selection we're gonna go to the S Y zero And then we're gonna move it back a bit. G1. Kind of like align it with everything. Control plus again. We're gonna do the same thing. Once again. Just to have a flat surface there. And then for this one's right here. Gonna do an alt click and then we're gonna use the shrink tool, shrink and flatten tool. We're gonna deselect this ones right here. 
all right we're gonna uh, deselect these ones right here all right and then we're gonna take the shrink tool I'm just gonna make it kind of straight all right excellent all right we're gonna go over here and then we're gonna do uh we're gonna smooth it out and we're gonna do a subsurface subdivision surface modifier i'm gonna take it to two all right and as you can see right now we have like this smooth edge right here which i don't think it looks right so we're gonna sharpen it up we're gonna go back into edit mode and we're gonna choose a couple of those edges change to edge all right so then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a bevel and just a little bit. And change as you can see now we have our nice corner and a more defined uh, circle in the front as well, flattened circle. Okay, excellent. We're going to add the color so we're going to change to faces as you can see it already looks like a like a pokeball we're going to pre press 7 to go into top view we're going to click this hole right here all right and then we're going to do a control plus a few times Right, just so we could see better, we're gonna disable the modifier. And we're gonna go over here and here. And here. Excellent. And we're gonna go to material, add a new material. And then we're gonna pick some red. We could later change it, we could change it later on. Alright, I'm gonna press tab and enable our modifier just so we can see. And then we're gonna go into uh, viewport shading. And oh, yes, I made a mistake. No wonder it's not. Um, showing up um i didn't assign them so right now we have these three materials and they're not assigned to those individual parts so i need to go again sorry about that so we're gonna click tab i'm glad that this is still selected right here and we're gonna click assign there we go we're gonna do the same thing with the center part which i thought we did earlier so we're gonna do a click around and then here as well all around let's disable the modifier at least in the viewport we're just gonna select all these faces Now go to our material, select our gray material, and then assign it. Oh, the top one was still enabled. We gotta deselect the top one, of course. Wow. Let's let's just do that again. Sorry about that. I 
nice la. now we can assign it sorry about that i was like what's going on <laughs> all right cool press tab can enable your modifier and as we can see we have the puck hole right here now we just need the center part and we're gonna do that with a cylinder so add a cylinder all right let's turn on the x-axis by 90 degrees let's move it up a little bit let's decrease the size let's go into front view Reduce the size a bit. I think it's better to do it as uh, two separate objects in this case. So then we're going to go into edit mode, faces, we're already there. Click on this face, do an inset. Uh, actually, let's reduce the size a bit a bit more of the overall object there there you go perfect tab inset about there everything is right we're gonna do an extrusion. We're gonna click and drag just a little bit. All right, then we're gonna change to edge mode. This edge loop is already selected, so we're gonna do the same thing with the other ones. And then we're gonna do a bevel, just a tiny bit, just so the light, um, just so the edges can catch the light right there. And we're gonna do a uh, Two segments all right and then we're gonna tap to exit out we're gonna do a modifier subdivision surface and right click on it um, uh, shade smooth or smooth shading and then um, let's just do a two and let's assign the same material as the bottom part so if we click right here and click on material you can rename your materials if you want uh, this is just a quick tutorial and for just so the final touches as you could see it's pretty it looks pretty cool to me it's pretty much done um let's just make it a little bit glossy by reducing the roughness on the bottom And then at the top, if we click on our object and then click on the red material, all right. So here it is, guys. Um, I'm not gonna render it, it's just a quick tutorial showing you guys how to do a pokeball. I am interested in building each one of them. Let me know if you guys would like to, would like me to have the file, the files after we're done with the tutorial for you guys to download and play with. Know about that. And um, let me know if you also want to see like the gray ball or ultra ball, um, you know, all those unique designs um, so we can build them and color them just i think it's gonna be a, a good exercise uh all right thank you guys and thank you for watching make sure you subscribe and like this is my first tutorial in a while so let me know your thoughts thank you